Today on Crusader Spotlight, our topic will be about Brandon Cervantes, a new student at our school. Brandon was born October 22nd, 2007. As you can see in this picture, he really loves Toy Story. He has a dog named Kuro, which means black in Japanese. His favorite colors are black and red. He has three siblings, Joe, Rachel, and Jason. He likes to skate and is also very good at playing baseball. That's it for Crusader Spotlight. We're all very glad to have Brandon at our school. Make sure to come back next week to see who's our next Spotlight. I am so sorry. I know, sir. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. Welcome back to Crusader News, where somehow I'm more tired reading this to you than all that running I did. Open house was this month. I'm sure none of you knew, because while well, elementary had the time of their lives, high school did nothing. As in, no one showed up. As you may have noticed, we finally got a new camera crew. That means we don't have to run sanitizer through our hair again. And for first impressions, I think it went very well. Excited for picture day? Picture day! Yay! Although most of high school is being lazy, volleyball girls have decided to start a bake sale. The appointed times will be next week on Thursday and the following Sunday after the morning service. Another important school news. There is no news. No other news. That's There's always. no more? No. Why did I even run here? Where are you going? You know what to say, Eli. This was Crusader News, and I'm Elisha, and hopefully I'll see you next time. You gonna untie me now? Are you feeling distracted? Are you feeling tired? Maybe even out of breath? about unenthusiastic. If you are feeling any of these symptoms, then you should take Depravity. Depravity is a once a week pill made to keep you awake and active. Please ask your doctor if Depravity is right for you. Feel energized. Focused. Feel enthusiastic. Mutations to the body. Vomiting. Fever. Overwhelming pain. And or other diseases in our French hotel.
today we're going to be talking about the creator of Mickey Mouse. If you're watching this and thinking, who is Mickey Mouse? You've been living under a rock. Before Disney was ever really a thing, he was an animator before and he wanted to use the character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, but for legal purposes he couldn't, so he created Mickey Mouse. Not gonna lie, he was really creepy at first. They made him look like a monster, but over time they made him look fun and friendly for children to watch. Did you know that mice slip up to like two years? So Mickey Mouse is literally thriving. Well, his creator would be thriving in his $135 billion company, but he sadly passed away December 15th, 1996. If you make it your goal to eat breakfast every morning, then please tell me how you do it. I'm lucky if I get to have a piece of toast on the way to school, but when I do have time to make food, one of my favorite dishes to make is crepes. They are basically the cousins of pancakes and are very delicious. They typically contain a filling and any other ingredients to enhance the dish. They're also surprisingly easy to make, but it requires a bit of practice. The origins of these treats began in Brittany, France around the 13th century. Apparently a housewife accidentally spilled some porridge on a flat cooking stone. This story is more akin to an urban myth because of the lack of proof and others say that crepes existed before this incident. This flattened pancake is now enjoyed by almost every country, and the various ways you can make crepes are up to the imagination. Birthdays are a very big part of our culture. Can I just say, singing happy birthday can be extremely painful. Why, you may ask? I will tell you why. Imagine this, you're celebrating your birthday. Yay, cake time! Light the candles! Turn off the lights. Now, sit awkwardly while you are greeted by an equally awkward choir as they all sing in their own key, Happy Birthday. We've all been there before, right? It's just so painfully awkward. Nobody, why do we do this? No one wants to be here. I don't want to be sung this. You don't want to be singing this. Why are we doing this? It just sounds like a bunch of, d d I don't even know. It's just creepy and it gives me nightmares. There are times where I've come close to crying. It, it was just so painful. This could be solved if we just all sang on pitch. I'm actually excited to talk about this one because, um, well, I have played volleyball and I do know the rules of this sport, so let's just dive into it then. We begin by serving the ball, which is pretty much hitting the ball over the net from the end line. After the ball is served, it is then received and set to one of the hitters. It usually goes back and forth for the duration of the match, but it's pretty much the same thing. Receive, set, attack. The whole match is usually split into three to five sets, each set going up to 25 points, usually. Bruh. How do you earn a point, you may ask? You're probably not asking that, but you earn a point by either number one, attacking the ball and it landing without anyone touching it, or you can earn a point blocking the ball and looking super awesome and- Subscribe! Or three, the other team could make a mistake, as in a serving nope. error or just shanking the ball, aka giving a horrible pass. And that's the gist of what happens in volleyball. 